Hey guys, today is an absolutely beautiful day in the North Main Woods. As you can tell, the leaves are already starting to change color. It is very warm today. It is about 82 degrees and that is about 12 degrees too hot for me. <laughs> so I wanted to find a place to cool off and being Labor Day weekend, the North Main Woods is full packed everywhere I'm going even not in the North Main Woods is packed so I'm here to show you guys my secret spot it's right in the woods here and there is no marking for this this used to be the old road and now they've built one just above and it goes up along this little knoll here and it comes out right on the other side of this berm that they have built up so that you don't drive through here anymore. But that being said, I was out here wandering one day and I found some old tin cans and some cool stuff so I was interested. And then I heard this babbling brook that I had to check out. So let's go check it out together, guys. It's absolutely beautiful and it's just deep enough to cool off. You know it's my kind of trail when there's no trail. <laughs> Ah, that's cool. There's a nice orange rasula here. And these guys actually bleed, essentially, orange goo. Lactiferous something or other, but <laughs> it is a type of rasula. And if you can tell, once you break it, the latex inside is orange and then you'll see it almost appearing to bleed. All right, let's get back down to the task at hand. I got sidetracked. Mushrooms are just finally starting to come out around here. You see these beautiful bright orange ones. I don't know the name of these. But they're still pretty cute. So right up here on this little knoll is where there are quite a few different uh, older tin cans and remnants of maybe an old homestead, which is pretty cool. There are some more mushrooms here. This is another type of rasula. And these are honey mushrooms, I believe. Please don't quote me on that. Like I said earlier in my other video, it's been a while since I have been mushrooming. This one could be the look-alike. I'm going to take a picture of the gills so that I can see when I get home because I want to know if that is or is not the honey mushroom. I want to say it's not because the edible one grows in more clumps and this kind of seems scattered, but we'll see when I get home. Oh, there's some beautiful coral mushroom growing over here. Sorry, I'm so sidetracked with mushrooms, guys. It's been... Uh, a long time since I've seen this many different varieties. I've been seeing a lot of hedgehogs and a lot of the rasula mushrooms, but not a lot of variety yet, so really exciting to see that. These are a type of chanterelle. Yellow foot, I believe or golden foot. And these are also an edible. It's quite
quite a big grouping of those chanterelles here, the yellow foot or golden foot. And here's my little spot, guys. <laughs> Let's go check it out. How magical is that? Got these beautiful, beautiful cedar trees. Got a nice birch that has lent itself if you'd like to dangle your feet off into the water. And just this beautiful, beautiful pool of absolutely beautiful water. I Last time I was here, I walked right across it. So breathtaking down here. Such a pretty spot. I did bring my water shoes, so I probably will go ahead and get my feet in. These um, waters around here have a lot of shale. You can see right here, and it's pretty sharp. If you slip, you're going to end up cutting your foot real bad. I've done it. I did it climbing around Allagash Falls, and it was sad news for me. Um, so I don't recommend that. Wear water shoes when you're swimming in areas like this that have a lot of shale. Alright, so I won't film too, too much because I'm sure that's quite noisy. I'm going to go ahead and cross. I'm sweating and I want to cool off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys come check out my little secret spot.